Number 10, Leah Michelle. The actress who played the most arrogant character on Glee has recently been outed as being one of the meanest celebrities in Hollywood. The music TV series that helped Leah Michelle rise to fame was also her undoing, as it looks like the horrible way she treated the cast and crew on set came back to bite her. Many of her peers, including actress Samantha Ware, spoke out against her behavior. She told Variety, quote, it was after I did my first performance. That's when it started. The silent treatment, the stare downs, the looks, the comments under her breath, the weird passive aggressiveness, it all built up. After Samantha spoke out, dozens of co-stars, film crew and staff flooded social media with stories about the diva. There were even reports of Michelle only speaking to people through her assistant and not acknowledging her co-star's presence. As expected, she came out and issued an apology, but people still haven't forgotten about her atrocious behavior, and when it was announced that she was replacing fellow actress Beanie Feldstein in the Broadway production of Funny Girl, fans were up in arms and some have even called for a boycott. Number 9, Mike Myers. His name is synonymous with the hilarious and charismatic character Austin Powers. However, the actor is reportedly completely different in real life, especially on set. There have been numerous reports suggesting that Myers is a nightmare to work with, with some even claiming him to be a control freak and grumpy. It has come to light that the actor makes tons of demands of his assistants. In fact, Myers reportedly made life a daily nightmare for the cast and crew of one of his biggest films. According to Amy Hill, who was his co-star in The Cat in the Hat, she said it was a horrible, nightmarish experience. Hill claimed that he selfishly kept everyone waiting for hours, overruled the director, and even had someone standing by just holding his personal chocolates in a dish. Quote, it was so weird. It was just the worst. I was miserable. Another story involves a fan that offered to buy the actor a drink. After telling Myers how much he enjoyed his work, Myers allegedly just looked at him and said, I can afford my own drinks, cursed at him and said, save your money for my next movie. Ouch. Apart from being notoriously difficult to work with, his mean-spirited attitude towards regular people have shrunk his fan base down to a fraction of what it used to be. Number 8, Rachel Ray. The celebrity cook has a reputation for being a meanie. Many fans in her audience have reported that before filming her show, she often avoids speaking to them and appears cold and disinterested, and just looks like she would rather be somewhere else. But it's not just her fans, in fact, several famous chefs have publicly come out saying that they straight up don't like her, like Martha Stewart and the late Anthony Bourdain. Even members of Ray's own family have turned against her. In 2013, scandal broke out after Ray's aunt, Geraldine, tragically died while staying at Ray's house. But neither Ray nor her husband John showed up at the funeral. Instead, she was allegedly tweeting about cats, recipes and TV shows, which led her cousin, Gina Mesnick, to speak out against her. Quote, I found it very insensitive and inappropriate. It just shows how demeaning Rachel was to my family on the day we buried my mom after she died under such horrible circumstances. Her fan base is now practically non-existent. In fact, a good portion of the internet harbors deep loathing for the chef. There's so many online forums dedicated to Rachel Ray slander. In fact, there's even a blog called Rachel Ray Sucks and you can guess what kind of things people post on there. Number seven, Russell Crowe. The actor has had a reputation for being outright mean to both his Hollywood peers and his fans, making him an extremely controversial figure in the industry. I mean, where to start with Russell Crowe? There were rumors that he threatened any media platform that published stories about him having a fling with Courtney Love. But a great example of his overall attitude is when he intimidated and attacked the producer of the BAFTA Awards for cutting his speech short and preventing him from reciting poetry. In 2005, he was then charged with criminal possession of a weapon for alleged throwing a phone and cutting a hotel clerk's eye, all because he was unable to get connected with his wife. One of the lesser talked about but worrying incidents involves Crow and rapper Azealia Banks. Crow forcibly removed her from a party he was hosting. Not only that, but he was said to have been violent and allegedly spat on her and used racist language. The Australian actor is also notoriously difficult to work with and is known for regularly shouting at his script writers, yelling at them on phone calls while discussing the story. So it's safe to say that he lost not only film roles but a lot of fans due to his outright nastiness. Number 6, Jared Leto. The actor and singer really seem to be getting a lot of backlash in recent years, especially in the era of the Me Too movement. It seemed that out of his fellow Hollywood celebrities, not everyone was willing to be silent when they heard he was behaving inappropriately 
appropriately towards young women. In 2018, Suit Life of Zack and Cody star Dylan Sprouse came forward on Twitter and brought disturbing allegations against him to light. Quote, Yo, Jared Leto, now that you've slid into the DMs of every female model aged 18 to 25, what would you say your success rate is? As you would have predicted, the tweet totally blew up and many people were happy that he was finally getting called out. The situation quickly escalated when Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn tweeted the following as an answer to Sprouse's initial tweet. Quote, He starts at 18 on the internet? Aside from predatory behavior, Leto has treated his fans horribly and was seen on occasion randomly giving the finger to audience members. As a result, he really doesn't have many mainstream fans left, save for the fans of his cult slash band 30 seconds to Mars. Number 5. Ellen DeGeneres She was one of the most popular talk show hosts in the world only a few years ago with fans across the globe. But all that came crashing down for Ellen DeGeneres when she was exposed for being ruthless to her employees when the cameras weren't rolling and just a downright mean-spirited person. Her motto was ironically, be kind, and that completely backfired on her when former employees started coming forward with their Ellen horror stories. In a BuzzFeed article, the comedian was labelled a bully and named as the culprit for creating a toxic work environment by one current and 10 former employees who anonymously gave their true thoughts about her in the article. They essentially confirmed what up until then had only been rumours, with one TV writer claiming that Ellen required anyone who talks to her at work to chew gum from a bowl outside of her office first and that she would frequently send staff home to shower if she thought that they smelled bad. While the accusations haven't hurt her bank balance, Ellen's image has been tarnished forever and you'd have to search the internet for days to find anyone that still supports her. Number 4. Catherine Zeta-Jones You wouldn't think the actress was someone with a bad attitude, but it appears that's exactly what she has. The most famous story about her happened way back in 1998 when an 8 year old girl was attending a special screening of The Mask of Zorro. She went up to Catherine Zeta-Jones and asked her for some advice on acting, as that is the career path that she wanted to follow. Catherine allegedly looked her up and down and said sarcastically, you're pretty enough, I suppose, before turning back to her conversation. Not to mention what she said in 2018, which really highlighted how she perceives herself. Quote, I'm sick of being humble, I really am. Sorry I'm rich, so sorry I'm married to a movie star, so sorry I'm not so bad looking. In fact, according to Page Six, the actress regularly sings her own praises and brags about how much money she has compared to other people. In 2003, she was quoted saying, a million dollars isn't a lot of money for people like us. I mean, if that wasn't enough, she said, quote, some people collect art or lots of money. We collect houses because if we have to look at something, we prefer the beauty. Yeah, most people were not jumping to support the actress with a track record of saying things like that. Number 3. Katherine Heigl Television, medical drama, Grey's Anatomy catapulted Katherine Heigl into the limelight. The thing is, she has a reputation of being extremely unpleasant to work with. And after trashing her most popular movie ever, she lost a whole bunch of fans. I'm talking about 2007's Knocked Up. It was not just hilarious, but very well received all round, scoring an 89% on Rotten Tomatoes and bringing in $219 million at the box office against a $25 million budget. But Catherine was less than thrilled about her participation in the movie and called the film sexist, telling Vanity Fair in 2008 that she thought the movie, quote, paints women as shrews, as humorless and uptight. It paints the men as lovable, goofy, fun-loving guys. She went on to say that she had a hard time with the film on some days because she said that her character was a B-word and a killjoy. Not only that, but Heigl's bad reputation stems largely from her decision to decline a second Emmy nomination for Grey's Anatomy in 2008. She released a cringy public statement that claimed she simply wasn't given the material this season to warrant an Emmy nomination. Talk about biting the hand that feeds you. Number 2. Jamie Lynn Spears Someone that has lost all support from what little fan base she had to begin with is Jamie Lynn Spears. She's known pretty much as the younger sibling of Britney Spears, but she didn't exactly hide long in her sister's shadow before entering the limelight. Although she made a few appearances in film and television as a child, she didn't receive star status until landing the lead role as Zoe Brooks on the Nickelodeon show Zoe 101. After three years on the very popular show, the then 16 year old announced that she was pregnant, effectively ending her role and putting her acting career on hiatus. But people dislike the star because of the horrific way she has treated her sister over the 
really is. In fact, fans of Britney have heavily criticized Jamie Lynn for an apparent lack of support during her sister's 14 year long conservatorship. In fact, the former actress has been accused of trying to steal Britney's fortune, fighting against the movement to free her from her conservatorship, and writing tell all books to try and profit off of her sister's name while trying to make her look bad. With Britney now finally able to speak up for herself and reportedly working on her own memoir, it will probably result in even more exposure of Jamie Lynn's horrific behavior. Number one, Faye Dunway. Once called the worst person in Hollywood by Betty Davis, the Academy Award winner is no doubt one of the meanest people in the industry. In 2019, she was actually fired from the Broadway production of T at Five because of bizarre behavior which included hurling objects at crew members and slapping her wig fitting team, throwing salad on the floor and even insisting that no one wear white to rehearsal because it's distracting. That's not all, in fact she reportedly shrieks at service industry employees and thinks that her plane tickets should be upgraded as a matter of principle. A flight attendant won once claimed Dunway was screaming at everyone, saying, don't you know who I am? And while filming Chinatown, the actor once reportedly threw a cup of urine on director Roman Polanski because he wouldn't let her use the restroom. In 2019, she was also sued by her former personal assistant, who claimed that she regularly and relentlessly subjected him to, quote, demeaning tirades and used his sexual orientation as a gay man against him. And according to an insider, Dunway was so demonic on the set of Mummy Dearest that no one did dared to approach her for fear of being verbally attacked. So it's not surprising that she no longer has many fans left at all. Coming in at number 10 today, we have Megan Fox. Because kindness still isn't universal online, Megan Fox has had to deal with some pretty nasty comments with some disrespectful fans. However, the star has also shot back some pretty sarcastic comments with fans to prove she's not the nicest person to deal with. Even crew members on the Transformers set have noted it was unbearable and ungracious to work with the star. When the three anonymous crew members who work with Megan on the blockbuster film came forward to talk about their time working on the set with her, they would become an open book and they would brand Megan as a dumb, ungracious, rude, and unbearable actress. And that it was just the tip of the toxic iceberg that they melted. The crew members went on to explain that after working for 12 months on set making two movies with the star, she showed little interest in the crew members around her. And while the crew worked extremely hard to make her look good in every single way, she never appreciated anyone's hard work and she never even said thank you. After she would be replaced after the second Transformers movie, after being difficult to work with, Megan would try to defend herself by saying the director, Michael Bay, was actually the nightmare to work with. However, once the crew members came forward anonymously against Megan, it would show the star was definitely someone you don't want to communicate with in Hollywood. Number 9, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz is known for her work in Charlie's Angels and countless romantic comedies. However, she isn't known for being pleasant during fan interactions. If you were maybe looking to get an autograph from the star one day, you might just want to rethink that thought, as Cameron isn't afraid to refuse to give any fan a lecture on how dumb autographs are. During the red carpet event for the premiere of X Tape, several eyewitnesses would come forward to say how awful Cameron was to her admirers. Fans have also explained that her behavior and attitude with them was absolutely disgusting. After fans waited hours for a chance to meet her, they would be ignored and some would even be lectured. Cameron at one point even yelled at one of her fans by saying, if I did it for you, I'd have to do it for everyone before storming off. Cameron is known to be pretty unfriendly with her fans and it's honestly pretty disappointing. However, she wouldn't be the only one to be rude and show terrible attitude towards fans during the X tape premiere as Jason Siegel would also be extremely rude to their fans who were there admiring the movie and them. With there only being four to five fans actually waiting for them, it would have taken less time for them to take a few photos and sign a couple autographs than it did to lecture their fans. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number 8 today, we have Rihanna. So in 2014, Rihanna would come under fire as it would be discovered that she was cyberbullying a 16 year old fan over her prom outfit. So Alexis Carter took style inspiration from Rihanna for her Hollywood themed prom at her Baltimore high school in 2010. So the look Alexis tried to recreate was a look where Rihanna wore a head turning teal wing jumpsuit. So Alexis loved this look so much that she decided to create her own version of the outfit and then she would share some of the photos of her prom ensemble on social media. When memes quickly started to take off showing the teen extending her arms and the material with the wings on full display in one of the shots
shots she's shown next to a really glamorous red carpet photo of Rihanna in the, in the exact same outfit with a caption saying Instagram versus real life comparison outfits. Another set of photos would also go viral with Alexis's pose and she would be pictured next to a curved W of the Wu-Tang symbol. Rihanna would then share the images on her Twitter account, adding a frowny face to the one comparison photo of her. When the singer went to great lengths to put the pictures up side by side mocking the fan, other fans would come to tell Riri that her move was uncool. However, when Rihanna posted a comparison photo of Alexis's dress with the Wu-Tang symbol, saying she gets it, we can't imagine anything more humiliating for a 16 year old than to be mocked by your idol. And number seven, Hailey Bieber. Hailey Bieber got slammed over social media after a viral TikTok claim that she was rude to a former restaurant hostess, Julia Carolyn. In the video, Julia would say that this is going to be controversial. I met Hailey a handful of times and every time she was just not nice. I really want to like her, but I have to give her 3.5 out of 10. Sorry. After Haley found out about the video, she would end up taking to the comments to say, just came across this video and wanted to say, sorry if I've ever given you bad vibes or bad attitude. That's not my intention. She also added that she hopes to one day meet the hostess again to apologize in person. Afterwards, Haley would then open up and say she felt bad about Julia's experience with her and that it wasn't the greatest and that the whole situation actually made her frustrated because you never know what someone's going through. Haley then tried to explain that she was going through some pretty tough times and she was sad and heartbroken and felt like engaging with people was really hard for her. She wished she didn't act that way and that she made a mistake out of character for her. But if it happened on every occasion that you met her, do you really expect us to believe that it was really out of character for you? Coming in at number six, Kendall Jenner. Now Haley wouldn't be the only celebrity that Julia would call out. As in two videos posted to her TikTok, she would reveal that she didn't have the best interactions with Kendall and Kylie Jenner. With Kendall being one of the most most low key members of the family, she's exhibited some pretty outrageous diva behavior in the past. In 2014, the model would find herself making headlines after finding herself in a situation with Mercer Kitchen in New York City. Jenner would be dining with her best friend, Haley Bieber, and she got upset at the fact that the staff didn't want to serve her any more alcohol, so she decided it'd be a good idea to leave the establishment without paying for her meal. When she got confronted by the staff, she would then throw $20 at them without even checking to see if that was enough to cover her bill. And her tip. Three years after the initial dine and dash, Kendall would find herself under fire again after she failed to tip. When the establishment posted a picture of the receipt on their Instagram page, they would say, don't forget to tip your bartender. Kendall would then try to cover up her tracks by saying, next time we won't tip in cash. While it's hard to believe what actually happened in both of these separate events, Julia did reveal on her TikTok that Kendall doesn't talk to the staff and her behavior never really comes across well for those in the restaurant industry. And number five, Jay Jason Siegel. Following the premiere of X Tape at Union Square Theater in New York back in 2014, Jason Siegel would find himself under fire for being unbelievably rude to fans who had shown up to support him in the new film. Eyewitnesses would later tell gossip sites that when Cameron Diaz and Jason were leaving the theater with a handful of fans asking for photos or autographs, the two celebrities just opted to treat them like dirt. The witnesses would even point out while there was only four to five fans waiting, it's not like the fans were following them. As it was a premiere for fans to attend. However, both stars' attitudes towards the fans were absolutely disgusting. When a 20 year old fan asked Jason for a photo, when he was leaving the premiere, Jason would scream no, and he would literally slam the car door right in the fan's face. People in the crowd would then gasp to acknowledge how bad the moment actually was. Jason was downright nasty to his fan when there was no need for it. As there wasn't a huge crowd of people waiting for the stars, it was only four to five people, and it would have taken them less time to interact with the fans than it was to give them each lectures and slam doors in their face. So while Hollywood has painted him to be the sweet guy next door with the characters he plays, he's definitely not the guy we thought he was. And number four, we have Jennifer Lawrence. So Jennifer Lawrence is known for her relatable personality and sense of humor. However, she hasn't always been super nice to her fans and she's even admitted that she can actually be quite rude to her fans so she can avoid interacting with them. Which is actually a pretty odd behavior if you think about it. Jennifer has said that her fearless approach to life doesn't come across well in the public eye. And in 2016, Jennifer would even lash out at a reporter for no reason because he was looking at his phone during a press conference instead of paying attention to her. She's even tried to explain that the reason she acts so rude is because it's the only way she knows how to defend herself as she gets really protective about her private space. So if you see her out for dinner and you think it's a good idea to flash a couple photos on your iPhone, just know 
She's a really rude person and she might just call you out on it. She definitely doesn't want to, but she will do it. So people in the future, leave her alone because she's not your friend. And number three, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock may play these compassionate, caring characters. However, that doesn't mean that her real self is as kind or giving. And she's actually been described by many fans as one of the meanest people in Hollywood to me. While the star refuses to make time for people, she was once considered to be one of America's sweethearts. However, her rude behavior has caused her to lose that title. In 2014, Denise Codes told Star Magazine that she was out with her husband who happens to be a war veteran. When they ran into Sandra in Boston while she was filming The Heat, Sandra was on a filming break and when Denise and her husband approached her, Sandra just ended up being extremely rude. She would cover her face and would even start yelling at the couple and threw insults at the man in the wheelchair after they just asked her for an autograph. Now sure we get it, not all celebrities have time to greet their fans because they're on this busy schedule. And we understand it can be annoying when they're hounded by mobs fans. However, with it being just a single wheelchair bound veteran and his wife approaching you in a polite request, did the autograph really warrant a yelling match? She could have just turned down the request instead. She just shocked us all with her rude response. And number two, Toby Maguire. When Toby Maguire had a pretty bad gambling habit, he was reportedly part of the infamous poker ring with Molly Bloom. Now, Molly organized games many Hollywood superstars attended in the early 2000s, but Toby was one of her most frequent visitors. In her memoir, Molly's Game, which was made into a movie, she would reveal that Toby was one of the worst tippers, best players, and absolute worst loser. Molly would also reveal that Toby once tried to humiliate her when she was at the tables by demanding that she should bark like a seal who wants fish in order to earn a thousand dollar in poker chips, all because he thought she was making a little too much money that night. When the poker game organizer added that she just just tried to like laugh it off, the actor continued to persist and he would go on to say, I'm not kidding, what's wrong? You're too rich now? You won't bark for a thousand dollars? What makes this incident even more funnier is Toby would even refuse to play without a shuffle master, which is like a $17,000 device that's supposed to deliver a fair random shuffle. And he even tried charging the machine for rent as he wanted $200 a night every time it was used. And coming at number one today, we have Christina Aguilera. Now Christina Aguilera may be a vocal power House. However, rumor has it that the star hasn't always been the nicest when it comes to her fans and she can actually get pretty nasty with people auditioning or performing on The Voice. When Christina was still a judge on The Voice, she would even go as far to scald one of the contestants because he wasn't paying super close attention to her critiques. With the singer repeatedly asking the male singer to take off his pants, he thinks she would have stopped after asking him for the third time. And her behavior would just get more worse as the show went on, as her attitude reportedly didn't even stop when the fans were actually famous themselves. Even actress Valerie Bertolini said that she once approached Christina to say, oh my God, I think you're a beautiful singer. And she would claim that Christina paid no attention to her comment and just said, yeah, whatever, before walking away. Coming in at number 10 today, we have Ariana Grande. The rumors surrounding Ariana Grande's alleged diva behavior has been circulating online for years now, while Ariana has been denying the claims. In 2014, she would make an appearance on the Australian radio show Mike E and Emma to say, that's not real real. That's nonsense. My fans know who I am, my family knows who I am, my friends know who I am, and that's all that matters. However, someone would then disagree with Ariana's claims. E! News correspondent Juliana Rancic would say, I think she does have a little bit of a diva thing going on. The TV host would say, I remember, I think I was at the AMA, she came up to the platform, and I normally stand on the left side of the camera. I had to fight 13 years to get this side of the camera. It's my good side. But I fought 13 years for it, okay? Little Ariana comes over and I feel like bing, elbow in my side. I'm like, what's going on? And they push me to the other side. While the thought of the two stars fighting over their good side to be shown on the camera sounds hilarious, we weren't really surprised Ariana Grande won this round because don't forget, if she wants something, she'll get something. So thank you, next. Coming at number nine, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera has built up quite a reputation for not being the friendliest person among the Hollywood's elite. One celebrity this pop star has apparently rubbed off wrong with is Valerie Bertinelli. TV host Andy Cohen would once even ask Valerie to spill the dirt on what went on between the two starlets during a 2014 episode on Watch What Happens Live. She would clarify that she and Christina didn't have an all 
out feud, but the singer did snub her once at one of her ex-husbands, Eddie Van Halen's concerts. Valerie would say, I was a fan at the time and I went up to her because she was at a Van Halen concert and I said, oh my god, I think you're a beautiful singer. And she went, yeah, whatever, and gave me the cold shoulder. And I thought, V? I'm a fan, you can't be nice to me. Now it's clear that Christina Aguilera hates compliments, however, after Andy asked Valerie if she's ever seen Christina again, the hot in Cleveland star would reply by saying, I have not, but you know what? She may have gotten better, but I heard she hasn't. And the rumor has it that Christina isn't the nicest person that she's perceived to be on TV and in the movies. It seems like you maybe wanna think twice before you give her a compliment because you might just get this unexpected reaction that may just break your heart. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number eight, we have Charlize Theron. So you probably shouldn't bother with someone while they're in the middle of a workout. But this is exactly what Tia Mori decided to do during one particular soul class. And it didn't end up too well for her. In 2014, the former child star would recount a time where she allegedly and awkwardly got snubbed by one of her favorite actors, Charlize. Tia would say, she wasn't really nice to me. I said, hi. And she actually rolled her eyes and said, oh my god. Tia would then add that there was no way that she was over the top with her high as she knew how to approach another celebrity. Later on, Andy Cohen decided to rehash the gossip with Charlize on an episode of Watch What Happens Next. Charlize would then say, what a B, the starlet joked, and when she asked about the stitch, she would then say she never heard this story and she would ask if Tia actually said it or was it just written. When Andy explained that the tale was originated in the tabloid, Charlize would then respond by saying, oh, well, you can't go by that, right? I'm really nice at Soul Cycle, actually, because once my endorphins kick in, I'm actually almost too friendly. Later, Tia would even clear the air in 2017 and say it was all blown out of proportion. But was it Tia, or are you just saying that so she won't roll her eyes at you during the next session? Number seven, Michael Jordan. Now, Michael Jordan is the GOAT when it comes to basketball. Unfortunately, it seems the legendary player's intensity on the court has sometimes translated off it as well. Which huge fan and rapper, Chat Millionaire, realized following an incident with the basketball giant in 2009. I saw Michael Jordan taking pictures with girls and I was like, man, this is just that one moment I'm going to ask Mike for a picture. I kind of expected him to say no, so I wasn't mad if he said no. The way he said it, apparently, when Chamillionaire went over to ask for a photo, Michael would say, oh, hell nah, man. I ain't taking no pictures with no ends. While many of us were shocked to hear this, the story would then obviously be picked up and streamed at the time, even among ESPN, which Noted, there's also a widespread support of the idea that Jordan is no saint. We can't help but wonder if the public perception of Jordan is shifting. As for number 23 himself, Jordan seemingly decided to prove Chamillionaire's claims wrong, as years later he was seen posting with fellow rap artist 2 Chains in an Instagram snap. However, do we think this was just him trying to save his image, or was Chamillionaire actually lying? Number six, Lee Michelle. If you're an A-list celebrity, you should probably avoid being rude to an up-and-comer on the rise. Q 13-year-old Haley Steinfeld, who was en route home after a successful audition in December of 2009. Haley would say, I was on the Paramount lot. Glee also films on the lot, and I love that show. When Haley saw Lee walking to her trailer, she would walk up to her and ask for an autograph. However, Lee would give her the cold shoulder and pretended like she was someone that didn't exist. A guy would then approach Haley and and tell her sorry, it's just not a good time. Haley would then reveal that the whole thing was just so sad that she actually practically went home crying. Later, Lee would then tell Gossip Cop, who is known as Just Jared, that she heard that Haley was upset and she felt terrible about it. Lee would then say, the Glee schedule is so jam packed that the PA probably pulled me so I wouldn't be late to set. I never meant to hurt her feelings. She's an extraordinary talent and I look forward to meeting her one day. However, after claims would come out saying that Lee made several of her co-stars lives miserable, while shooting Glee. It's hard to say if she was telling the truth as her personality seems to kind of be snaky at best. Number five, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence has been considered by many to be Hollywood's quirky it girl, as she is always one to speak her mind. She tends to fall in public, and she's generally viewed as being super relatable by her fans. But is this Oscar winning starlet taking her fame for granted? When Jennifer sat down for an interview with Adam Sandler in 2017, the variety actor 
on the actor series, the two would discuss the negative aspects fans have and that sometimes they just don't understand what it means by respecting someone's personal space. Jennifer would go on to say, Once I enter a public place, I become incredibly rude. I turn into a huge a-hole. She would then go on to explain that she does this so she can defend herself because when her fans ask her to take a selfie, she just finds the whole moment super icky. Well, Adam, on the other hand, went on to make this really awkward laugh. At the remark, he would then try to offer his own two cents to the young starlet. He said, I don't shut them down. My new move has been, it works all right when it's an older guy. I say, you don't want that man. Nonetheless, the damage was already seemingly done as her explanation didn't quite rub well on many of her fans. I mean, considering these are the people that put money in your pocket, maybe just politely decline the photo and opt to get to know them instead because a lot of your fans are actually the people who inspire to be you one day. And number four, Chevy Chase. Now, Pete Davidson has had his fair share of celebrity feuds and one of his sparring partners is no stranger to controversy. Another former Saturday Night Live star, Chevy Chase, wasn't a fan of the the show's 2018 cast, as he told the Washington Post, I'm amazed that Lorne has gone so low. How could you dare give that generation worse stuff than they already have in their lives? It drives me nuts. Davidson didn't take this too kindly, and he would respond by telling Howard Stern that he hated Chevy Chase because he is generally a bad person, a racist, and he simply just didn't like him. In the true Chevy fashion, the comedy star would then tell CBS Sunday morning with a laugh in February 2022 saying, uh, you know who I am, and I like who I am, and it's a part of me, and I don't care. Thought about that a lot, and I don't know what to tell you, man. I just don't care. Chase, of course, has also been accused of controversial behavior on set with his former community co-star, Donald Glover, allegedly being the target of racist jokes. As the show creator, Dan Harmon, told The New Yorker in 2018 for his part, Glover said, I just saw Chevy as fighting time. A true artist has to be okay with his reign being over but I know there's a human in there somewhere. Number three, Mariah Carey. Now, lots of celebrities have been accused of diva behavior and some of them owned it, but perhaps few have been called a diva as many times as Mariah Carey has. It's no lie that Mariah is incredibly talented, however, she isn't everybody's favorite cup of tea. Just ask fellow singer Demi Lovato. Back in 2016, the former Disney Channel star made her feelings about Mariah perfectly clear by saying, the woman is mean for no reason. Extremely talented, yes. Superhuman, possibly. Unnecessarily rude, absolutely. While the star would go on to post this as a comment on a since deleted Instagram post, her comment would come on the heels of another removed post of Mariah, in which in which the always be my baby hitmaker seemed to dis Ariana Grande. As well, Mariah infamously continued the I don't know comments regarding Jennifer Lopez. Now it's not hard to imagine that Jennifer, Demi, and Mariah won't be getting together anytime soon, but whatever distaste Mariah had or did have for Ariana must have dissipated as in 2020, the two alongside of Jennifer Hudson collaborated on Mariah's Christmas track, Oh Santa, and Grande would even join Mariah at the end to harmonize with the latter's signature whistle tone runs. However, while we all imagine Mariah to be so over the top, none of us really expected her to be this mega diva with no control and it was pretty disappointing to see. Number two, Jennifer Lopez. Rosie Perez and Jennifer Lopez worked together on Living Color in the early 90s. Perez was the choreographer for the sketch comedy show and even fought for Jennifer who appeared in over 60 episodes to get her big break as a fly girl. In her 2014 memoir, Handbook, For an Unpredictable Life, Perez would claim that the Waiting for Tonight hitmaker on set behavior was inappropriate. All of the girls were coming into her office and complaining about how Jennifer was manipulating wardrobe, makeup, and Rosie to her advantage. Rosie would then claim that when she addressed the issues, Jennifer responded by screaming and pounding her chest. Unfortunately, their apparent feud heated up following Jennifer's exit from the show, with Rosie accusing her of acting fake and friendly. Rosie would also go on to say, I was blindsided. I thought we were cool. I called her up and she wouldn't pick up. Shortly after Jennifer ended up ghosting her, Rosie would run into her at a club and instead of remaining cool, she went in with her biting tongue and gave Jennifer a piece of her mind. On the positive side, it does seem like Rosie doesn't hold anything ill will towards Jennifer these days. As she's even said, I don't hate Jennifer Lopez. I had great respect for her. Yes, we had a tiff and it was 20 years ago and I write in my book, I've moved on. 
and I'm sure she has also. However, who knew Jennifer was actually so hard to work with on set? And it's actually pretty surprising to hear. And coming in at number one today, we have Tommy Lee Jones. Oscar winner Tommy Lee Jones is apparently not a fan of Jim Carrey. The two worked together on Batman Forever back in the 90s, and as Carrey recounted on Normal McDonald Live in 2017, Jones didn't mince words when it came to his lack of fondness with his comedic co-star. After Carrey spotted him having dinner at the same restaurant as him, Carrey would end up going over and saying, hey, Tommy, how you doing? And Tommy's face would go white and he would start shaking. And it was at this moment, Jim knew that he was about to have a pretty unpleasant interaction with the men in black actor. Jim would say, and he went in to hug me and he said, I hate you. I really don't like you. While Jim went to find out what the problem was, he pulled up a chair and that probably wasn't the best move to do, but he just wanted to talk things out. And Tommy said, I cannot sanction your buffoonery. Now, Jim kept a mostly good attitude about the incident, summarizing, I was the star and that was the problem. He's a phenomenal actor though, I still love him. Some have since defended Tommy's apparent attitude, however, as pal Richard Jones once told Texas Monthly that, you need to remember, Tommy's got a lot of cowboy in him. He's got a cowboy spectism about people he doesn't know. For me personally, I don't know who I'm more disappointed in, Tom for not giving Jim a chance or Jim who aired their dirty laundry out for everyone to hear. Coming in at number 10, we have Nicki Minaj. If there's one vital lesson the music world has taught us over the years, it's that we should never mess with Nicki Minaj. Over the years, the rapper has cemented herself as a wig-loving, explicit lyric, delivering no nonsense force to be reckoned with. So it was only natural that she would have her fair share of feuds with other celebrities that have sparred with the likes of Miley Cyrus, Taylor Swift, Mariah Carey, and more. However, back in April of 2016, Nicki would tell Ellen that she regrets her past feuds by saying, I'm a sweet person and I don't wanna be mean to people. Nonetheless, that hasn't stopped Minaj from carrying the occasional feud. However, after Nicki decided to beef with Cardi, a lot of fans would be left leaving Nikki behind because it became clear that if you're going to come up into the industry, it doesn't sit well with Minaj as she wants to remain the best female rapper alive. When it started to make headlines and Nikki may have said something about Cardi B's child culture and Cardi even would take her shoe off and throw it at Nikki's head, it would hint that Nikki might not be the sweet Barbie she's trying to portray herself to be. Coming in number nine, we have Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is known for her relatable personality and sense of humor, but she's actually not really nice to her fans and she's even admitted to being incredibly rude and in that she does it on purpose when she's in public. During Variety's Actors on Actors series in 2017, Jennifer would have a conversation with comedian Adam Sandler. During the conversations, both would discuss how they both handle the attention they receive from their fans. And it's pretty clear that both like to take different approaches. When Adam referred to Jennifer as being famously light and approachable, she seemed to disagree and suggested that her true temperament might diverge verge from her perceived persona. Jennifer would then go on to say, I just generally, once I enter a public space, I become incredibly rude. I turn into a huge a-hole. Jennifer would then use even more colorful language to describe herself later on. While the star tends to get icy with her fans in public, she would note that she does it because it's the only way she knows how to defend herself. So if you ever see Jennifer in public and want a selfie, just know she's most likely going to bluntly say no. And if you see her at a restaurant when she She's trying to enjoy her meal. She's just gonna give you a sour look, wag her finger, and tell you she's not working today. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number eight, we have Adam Levine. Adam Levine is no stranger to the conversation surrounding his alleged rude behavior. Adam is known to often even embrace it. And like many jerks before him, he repeatedly tries to gaslight the public into loving him anyways. The Maroon 5 singer is also known to get pretty rude with his fans when they simply just ask him for an autograph. In one instant, Adam would even proceed to call one of his fans ugly and refuse to sign an autograph for them. If that wasn't bad enough in an interview with Cosmopolitan, Adam would also express his opinions on cheating and he would even continue to go on to make excuses for men and why they tend to do it. He would then also go on to admit to cheating himself and he really didn't seem so upset about his actions. And the fact that he cheated on his stunning wife with some 
Sumner Shroff, and he tried to name his child after her proves that there's something truly disturbing when it comes to his personality. Not to mention, but there's also been several occasions where he's just been totally rude on stage towards friends. To be honest, Adam has always acted like a bit of a tool, so it's no surprise to find out he's one of the rudest celebrities out there. Number seven, Toby Maguire. While it's well known that Toby Maguire isn't a fan of the paparazzi, he has also behaved questionably with others. One of the biggest incidents he was involved in occurred back in 2014 during a high stakes poker game hosted by Molly Bloom. It's been said that Toby often took part in Molly's poker games alongside of other celebrities such as Leonardo DiCaprio and Ben Affleck. However, on one occasion, Spider-Man showed his true colors when he once offered Bloom a thousand dollars worth of poker chips, but only if she barked like a seal. It said that Toby purposely tried to embarrass Molly in front of big name celebrities because she was winning so much that night and it would later be revealed that this was all part of Tony's plan to take control of the poker game. And that's exactly what he ended up doing after he sent Molly out of business. Today, Toby is more of a private person whose once over the top party lifestyle has been tapered down after he became a dad. And there aren't too many stories about him displaying rude behavior over the past decade. But for this incident alone, he does deserve a place on this list today because who tells someone they'll give them a thousand dollars to bark like a seal? Hilarious, don't get me wrong, but it's completely uncalled for. Number six, Britney Spears. Back in November, a Zoe 101 actress, Alexa Nicholas, would spill some tea about her time working on the Nickelodeon series. And honestly, after hearing her story, it made me pretty much hate the whole cast of Zoe 101 for being so cruel to her. In one of her stories, she would detail a very traumatizing experience she had with Britney Spears. During the now viral podcast, Alexa would recount that a talent coordinator told her and her mom he was taking her to hair and makeup, but instead he ended up bringing the preteen to talk with Britney. When Alexa walked into Jamie Lynn's trailer, she said that Britney Spears started to yell at her as Jamie Lynn hid in the back of the room. Alexa would then go on to note that even though Britney had gone on to apologize to her personally, Nickelodeon still hasn't. Alexa also would say it wasn't okay because she was 12 and 13 years old at the time, but in retrospect, she knew the dynamic that was in place for her. She said, I think of course that's what ended up happening. And I think like, oh my God, poor Britney. She's in a horrible situation. However, even if Britney was eight months pregnant at the time, there wasn't really a reason for her to have an unhinged moment with a star her sister chose to bully for no reason. After the incident, Alexa would be left crying in her trailer and all the show's creator Dan Schneider did was give her a DVD player to get her to stop crying. Number five, Ariana Grande. Now, I know you're probably saying there's no way Ariana Grande is mean as she always appears to be this super sweet girl, but trust me when I say it's honestly all just a facade. There have been dozens of stories floating around Hollywood for the last decade that surround the star's poor behavior. Today, Ariana is mostly known for often blocking her fans on Twitter when they express a less than flattering opinion about her on her music, despite being all about having the freedom to say what you want to say. She also left Mac Miller when he was going through a tough time and struggling with substances and abuse and issues, but then came out to support Demi Lovato when it suited her narrative. There's also been a story about a man named Dan O'Connor who won a competition to meet Ariana. Dan would bring his daughters along who were obviously really excited to meet the star and after a long day of waiting for her, when Ariana finally met with them, she reportedly only spent 15 seconds with them, took a photo and demanded that they delete the photo. If that doesn't scream diva-like behavior, she also licked donuts in a donut shop she didn't pay for and just continues to display this really odd behavior. Number four. Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera has a beautiful voice, but a bad reputation. Since 2008, she's been in a pretty long feud with Lady Gaga, which started in 2008 when she was accused of stealing Gaga's look when promoting Bionic. And in her response to the issue wasn't really the best. Christina would end up telling Los Angeles Times, you know, that's funny that you mentioned that. This person, Lady Gaga, was just brought to my attention not too long ago. I'm not quite sure who this person is, to be honest. I don't know if it is a man or a woman. 
woman. I wasn't sure. I really don't spend my time on the internet, so I guess I just live under a rock in that respect. While the duo would put their feud behind them and do a remix to Gaga's Do What You Want together, it's just been said that working with Christina isn't exactly a treat, with multiple sources claiming that working with Christina is already difficult enough. Apparently working for the star is even worse. Insiders even told OK Magazine that her constant diva demands have led to most of her staff to throw in the towel and seek employment elsewhere. A source would then tell the tabloids that Christina is incredibly rude and demanding and she treats her household staff terribly insisting that they be on call 24 7 and that she'll even call staff on the other side of the house to grab a towel that is just mere feet away from her. Number 3. John Mayer Over the course of two decades, John Mayer has sold more than 20 million records earning him multiple Grammys and he's even traveled the world with top grossing tours. And yet despite all of his success, people still don't like the man. While he may be extremely talented, that hasn't stopped him from displaying some pretty rude behavior. Over the years, the man has been responsible for Your Body is a Wonderland has had a history of bad behavior that has stemmed from being misogynistic and racist and while John regularly tends to make sexist and racist comments through his career, he has also gone on to say some pretty hurtful things about his ex-girlfriends and he has somehow, despite all of his problematic behavior, managed to continue to have a very successful career without being cancelled. And it seems like as long as you're good looking and you can sell a handful of records and make a lot of money, you can get away with anything in the music industry. However, when John did Jennifer Aniston dirty in 2008, after he confessed that he broke up with her because he didn't want to waste his time with somebody that wasn't right for him, he came off as a total jerk who was only interested in taking credit for the breakup and Jennifer didn't deserve that. Number 2. Kanye West Kim Kardashian and Kanye West divorce was messy to say at least, but the drama between the formal couple just continues to escalate due to Kanye's increasingly alarming behavior, which stems from accusations that Kim was withholding her children from him and over the fact that she was dating Pete Davidson for a bit. Kanye has continued to head to his social media accounts to express his anger and frustrations while making an attempt to bully Kim in front of the world. Kanye's social media presence is a constant target to Kim and her former partner Pete Davidson. Kanye has been creating a dangerous and scary environment and while he does seem to come out to take accountability for some of his actions, he just jumps right back into his old ways and creates more damage. It seems like anything pertaining to Kim and Kanye keeps making headlines as Kanye keeps engaging in the idea that it's okay to harass his estranged wife and that his behavior is justifiable because he's just protecting himself. While Kanye is struggling with his own mental health, his constant attacks on his ex-wife are hurtful and causing further pain to their family. While a lot of Kanye's fans continue to see there's nothing wrong with his actions, he has continued to act out in problematic ways and his actions are just so unjustifiable at this point. And coming in at number 1 today, we have Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is constantly being criticized for his rude behavior as the Peaches singer has been a part of several controversies, especially when he was younger, with rumors stating that he cheated on Selena Gomez, he has a habit of spitting on fans, or getting arrested for driving under the influence, he has faced massive backlash every single time. While the star has definitely grown a lot since getting married to Hailey Bieber, in 2018 he would find himself getting called out again, and this time by famous singer and dancer Jojo Siwa, after she claimed that Justin was rude to her in a TikTok video. When Jojo bought a custom BMW four years ago, Justin Bieber would comment on the photo and tell Jojo to burn it. Jojo would then take a screenshot of the comment and say, POV, you're Justin Bieber when I got my first car. The audio in the back of the video also played the lyrics that said, did I say stand there and look stupid? No, I said burn it. This audio was made for me. Though Justin tweeted about the same video in 2018 as well and said it wasn't malicious or mean spirited, Jojo still decided to call him out and name him as one of the meanest celebrities she has ever met. Coming in number 10 today, we have Leah Michelle. The the star of Glee, Leah Michelle, seems to just be obsessed with being a diva like her character was on the show. According to a long list of people who have worked with the actor over the years, they have accused Leah of being a racist, arrogant, spoiled, and hateful. While only rumors have circulated about her demeanor before, Pandora's box would open after Leah made a tweet about her support of Black Lives Matter movement and the George Floyd protest against racism. Samantha Ware, who played Jane Hayward on Glee's final season, called out Michelle for her hypocrisy, racism, and aggressive bullying actions after Samantha spoke out. Dozens of co-stars, film crew, 
N stars flooded social media with stories about the diva that makes you wonder even after she was exposed how she was still able to go on and land the lead role of funny girl even after former 30 rock actor Keith Powell accused Leah of being a terrible person as he witnessed on the background of Glee Leah calling background actors cockroaches telling multiple crew members how to do their jobs and even witnessing Leah have a tantrum over something that resulted in her holding up the film schedule for at least an extra hour. Number 9 Jennifer Aniston It may be surprising that Jennifer Aniston has a bad reputation when it comes to working with other people on set as she's been painted to look like the all American nice girl. However, Jennifer Aniston has also garnered a bad reputation for being a bit of a snob with her cast members and crew when she's working on set. So it's said that Jennifer will refuse to eat with the other cast members and she demands that her trailer is to be placed further away from everyone else and she purposely avoids talking to her co-stars and cast members, her co-stars and crew members unless she absolutely has to. Besides that, Jennifer has also been accused of being more concerned about her appearance more than she is about reality. She only got the best when she redecorated her Bel Air mansion dresses and she even stylized her ex-husband Justin when they were still together. It's also been said that she will turn down a role if she doesn't deem it as a powerful, classy and sophisticated role. But I mean, do we really blame her because she worked really hard to get to where she is today and she's allowed to be picky when it comes to her well-being and image. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming number 8, we have Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez has been accused of having a list of demands every time she works on an event or a film set. When she was running for the opening ceremonies of India's Premier League Cricket Tournament, what may have seemed like a massive opportunity would soon evaporate when the organizers received Jennifer's list of demands. Among the big asks that repeatedly came through from her manager was a private plane, a host of hotel rooms for her entourage, stylist, and handlers. Also, when she was set to perform at the 2010 World Video Music Awards, she reportedly insisted on a custom fitted speedboat and requested a pair of diamond encrusted headphones and a helicopter to be on standby. By 2012, it's also been reported that the singer and actress even banned staff that were working on her new home from speaking to her or even making eye contact with her. Not to mention, there has also been some sets that accuse Jennifer of manipulating the cast and crew members. Number seven, Christian Bale. Christian Bale is seen as a bit off putting by many of his fellow actors for a couple of reasons. One is that he is a fairly angry person who takes things a bit too seriously at times. Another is he tends to be fascinated by real world violence and sees it as a means of making the world work. Back in 2009, an audio recording would be leaked to the media and it would start to make headlines as it would show Christian Bale's infamous outburst towards cinematographer Shane Hurlbut on the set of the Terminator Salvation. In the audio, Christian could be heard yelling at Shane when he said, you do it one more effing time and I ain't walking on the set if you're still hired. You're a nice guy, but that does doesn't effing cut it. After the audio clip was released, Christian would later apologize for his outburst during an interview on Kevin and Bean's radio show on KROQ, where he would say, I was out of order beyond belief. I was way out of order and I acted like a punk. I regret that. It's clear that Christian has a reputation of not being one to cross, joke with, or get too close with because you never know how he will truly react. Number six, Edward Norton. Edward Norton is in famous for trying to rewrite the script of almost every movie he is a part of. Even Edward tried to make an attempt to rewrite the script of Red Dragon in the middle of the filming. He would then battle with Marvel over his incredible Hulk breweries and the director of American History X still curses Edward's name for ruining the film with his rewrites of the script. Edward made a relatively rare televised appearance in the summer of 2018, showing up for the taping of the Comedy Central roast of Bruce Willis. As one does at a roast, Edward took some pretty harsh jabs at Bruce Willis when he said things like, I tried to emutilate you 
in American History X. I shaved my head. I acted like a racist. It's probably the closest any actor has come to being you in a film. And I got nominated for a Best Actor Oscar. But much of Edward's routine was just a setup to throw one final insult at the Marvel Cinematic Universe and people who make the movies when he said, I try to be like you. I did a big action movie called The Incredible Hulk. You know what went wrong? I wanted a better script. Thought we should make one Marvel movie that was good as the worst Chris Nolan movie. But what the hell was I thinking? Number five, Julia Roberts. When Steven Spielberg worked with Julia Roberts, who played Tinkerbell in his 1991 Peter Pan adaption hook, Steven would claim that Julia was extremely difficult to work with. At the time of the movie's filming, it's said that Julia Roberts was going through a really hard breakup with her then fiance, Kiefer Sutherland, who was supposedly impacted her behavior on the set and garnered her the nickname Tinker Hell. Among the other cast and crew members, however, no matter what you're going through, it never truly gives you a valid reason to behave poorly or mistreat any person. When Steven was later asked in an interview with 60 Minutes what it was like working with Julia Roberts for the movie, he would say, It was an unfortunate time for us to work together, but I think Julia is a really, really good actress. But is being a good actress enough for someone to get away with treating people poorly? Number four, Mike Myers. Austin Power star Mike Myers apparently has a reputation for being difficult to work with in an interview with. With AV Club, Mike's The Cat in the Hat co star Amy Hill painted an unflattering portrait of the film's lead, right down to the claim that he has a sycophant trailing behind him all day whose entire job seems to be feeding Mike chocolates from a Tupperware container. Imagine putting that on your resume. Amy would then go on to characterize Myers as a diva who constantly made the cast and crew wait while he micromanaged the entire production. Later in a 2008 EW profile of Myers, Wayne World director Penelope Spears got her own digs in when she described him as being emotionally needy, and she would even note that Mike got more difficult to work with as the shooting went on. Penelope would also echo Amy's experience when she recalled having to enlist her own daughter to perform the duties of a snack wrangler for Myers. But perhaps her most telling line from the internet was her remark when she said, Maybe he could open like a children's hospital to clean up his rep. He's got to do something pretty quick. Number three, Thomas Gibson. Do you ever wonder why Thomas Gibson just disappeared from Criminal Minds? Well, back in 2016, Thomas Gibson would find himself being suspended and later fired for kicking a writer on the set of Criminal Minds. The producers of the long running series of CBS would then be forced to announce that the actor who had been on the drama since it launched in 2005 would not be returning to the show when it returned for its 12th season. The argument apparently happened when the show's creative gave Thomas some direction. Thomas clearly didn't appreciate it. Take this as a word of advice when it comes to giving direction and you're not the director, it's probably best not to give it, especially if you're an actor yourself, as this is the biggest way to make enemies in the business and it could help you if you're ever to work on a set with Thomas Gibson in the future. After Thomas was fired, both Deadline and TMZ would also report that Thomas was ordered to attend anger management classes after he was caught shoving an assistant director back in 2010. Number two, Bruce Willis. It's no secret that Bruce Willis is one of the most problematic actors to work with in Hollywood when his co-star Sybil Shepherd called him out in his first big project. The television series Moonlighting People thought it might be personality clash, but since then everyone from Kevin Smith to Sylvester Stallone has talked about how difficult he is to deal with. From superstar action hero to being relatively hidden, it seems like Bruce Willis' reputation has changed slightly over the years as he's now considered to be one of the most difficult actors to work with. One of the first time Bruce would end up being called out on his odd behavior on set was by Kevin Smith who directed the actor in the 2010 film Cop Out. Kevin would call his experience soul crushing and allegedly said at the wrap up party I want to thank everyone who worked on the film except for Bruce Willis, who is an effing wang. Three years later, Sylvester Stallone spoke out about dropping Willis from Expendables 3 when he tweeted, Greedy and lazy, a formula for career failure. It would be revealed that Bruce demanded a pay increase despite having a very minimal role. 
in the film. On top of these reactions from stars who have worked with Bruce, it has been well noted that he is a notoriously poor interview subject and his bad attitude is now well known. And coming in at number one today, we have Katherine Heigl. For years, Katherine Heigl's departure from Grey's Anatomy, Grey's Anatomy remained a speculation and after she exited the show, she would be labeled as a difficult person to work with in Hollywood. In a tell all book, How to Save a Life, the inside story of Grey's Anatomy, Entertainment Weekly editor Lynette Rice would talk about numerous anonymous sources about Katherine Heigl's sudden exit. According to Insider, one source suggested that Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes felt like she was to blame for Catherine leaving the show. The insider also said Rhimes felt like Catherine felt like she was the star of the show and she resented that the other actors on the set were becoming stars of their own and that's why she left the medical drama and turned down an Emmy nomination to pursue other opportunities. Well it's been said Catherine turned down the opportunity because she felt like she wasn't given material that season to warrant an Emmy nomination. Many felt like it was a quick swipe at Rhimes. Since leaving Grey's, Catherine has been trying to save her reputation in Hollywood that she claims should have never had strain on it in the first place. Coming in on number 10 today, we have Katy Perry. Have you seen all the drama surrounding Katy Perry in American Idol? Well, if you haven't, let me get you caught up. So recently, a 25 year old mom who was bullied by Katy Perry on American Idol decided to quit the show while on stage in tears. When Sarah Beth Leiby first appeared in front of the judges to perform You Know I'm No Good by Amy Winehouse, many viewers criticized Katy Perry and the comments she made during Sarah's audition. Sarah would later open up in a TikTok video in which she described the incident as being hurtful and embarrassing by saying there was a joke that was made that's gotten so much attention. And she then went on to say, at the start of my audition before I sang, I mentioned that I had three children and I was a young mother. And Katy Perry made a joke that wasn't super kind. Now the mom of three has decided to call it quits. And it's not for the reason you might assume. In an episode of the singing contest, she sang Roxanne by the police before suddenly quitting and telling the judges after finishing her song, the opportunity is really rad, but this is actually going to be my last performance because my heart's at home. So I'm going to get home to my babies, thank you. With Sarah returning to the stage, Katy Perry would then beg the contestants not to leave, but Sarah stood her ground and left the show. And now we're all wondering if Katy Perry might be replaced as a judge on the show. Number 9, Justin Bieber. Well, we all know Justin Bieber is all about his personal space and in 2017, he would show his fans that they probably shouldn't approach him and ask him for a selfie or an autograph. While Justin was in Australia for a leg of his world tour, he was approached by a female fan looking to take a selfie on the street, but instead, she would be left in tears. During the encounter, which was filmed and shared on the internet, the singer rebuffed her request by telling her, look at your respect level, look at you, you make me sick. In one swift move, he then took some bite of his food that he was holding and got into his car. His Melbourne fan then recalled during an interview on Nova 969, I took the photo anyways because I thought when am I ever going to have this moment in my life? Well Justin went on to receive some major backlash for how he handled the situation. In a brief dispute, the star seemed to go into digital damage control, uploading more photos of himself welcoming his fans, including a throwback photo of him shaking hands with a young girl on the beach. Coming back to our list in the number 8 spot today, we have Jennifer Lawrence. Did you know Jennifer Lawrence once made a grown man cry in a bar before? Well, apparently she did and she even talked about the incident when she appeared on the popular chat show Late Night with Seth Meyers. When Jennifer was in the capital of Hungary for the shooting of Red Sparrow, when she ventured into the bar on a night with some friends, she would be drinking with her company when a fan approached the group and asked Jennifer to take a selfie with him. When the actress declined to take a photo with him, he apparently kept on insisting to the point Jennifer and her friends had to ask him to leave them alone. Things quickly then took a sharp turn after the man got agitated and said F you to Lawrence, which then riled up the star and she snapped and she then grabbed her fan, threw a drink in his face and poured it all over his suitcase and after her friend stopped her from doing anything else so insane, she then noticed her fan was in tears. Number 7, Miley Cyrus. So Kendall Jenner has been a fan of Miley Cyrus for a while now. So it probably didn't sit so well with the model after Miley Cyrus recently called her out on her mean girl behavior. So at the height of Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber's ongoing feud, after was revealed that Kendall Jenner helped Hailey Bieber make fun of Selena Gomez in a video, news would shortly start to circulate online that Miley made Kendall cry at the Versace fashion show in Los Angeles. Apparently like the rest of us, she didn't like the way Kendall and her buddy Hailey
Haley were being mean girls towards Selena and she wanted to call them out on it. So no one really knows what Miley said or didn't say to the model, but not long after the rumor went viral, Selena then posted a selfie and tagged Miley and captioned the picture by saying violent chemistry, which is a song from Miley's new album. And fans immediately started to suspect the post was connected to Kendall's and Miley's confrontation. Number 6, Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire isn't your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And yes, he did play Spider-Man, but that doesn't mean his nice on-screen persona can be found behind the scene. As apparently the star isn't as nice as he seems, especially when it comes to his fans. With there being several reports of the star displaying in some pretty odd behavior when it comes to interacting with any of his fans, he once took things a little too far. When Toby was walking back to his hotel in Paris, a fan walking right beside him held out a camera in front of the star to snap a picture of his face. Looking annoyed, Toby then out of nowhere slapped his fan's hand, which caused him to drop his camera and it shattered on the sidewalk. So as Toby continued to walk away with his entourage, his fan would be left in tears. Number 5. Nicki Minaj Nicki Minaj seriously caused some major chaos in 2022 when she had to cancel her meet and greet in London on the spot. When the rapper was arranging to meet her fans at a venue in Camden in midday, the event quickly spiraled out of control after thousands of fans showed up. When Nicki eventually appeared hours later, then what was originally scheduled, she was mobbed by the crowd and even had to be escorted back to her SUV before speeding away. In a since deleted TikTok video from the chaotic scene, it would show Nicki pushing a fan while she was attempting to make her way through the crowd to the venue on foot. Despite fans ignoring Nicki's pleas to form an orderly fashion line outside of the venue, Nicki would make the decision to cancel her meet and greet and then the police would issue a statement saying it was shut down by the event managers due to safety concerns. And as Nicki drove off, fans started to cry and chase her car down the street. Number 4. Britney Spears Back in November 2022, Alexa Nicholas would recall a time Jamie Lynn Spears had her older sister Britney Spears yell at the actor on set to the point she became a crying mess as she recalled all the trauma she had to deal with while working on the Nickelodeon set. During the podcast, Alexa recounted that a talent coordinator told her mom he was taking her to get her hair and makeup done, but instead he brought the preteen to talk with Britney. At first Alexa was excited because she was a huge fan, she thought Britney was just going to help her and Jamie Lynn work through their problems. But after going into Jamie Lynn's trailer, Britney started yelling at her as Jamie Lynn hid in the back room. While Britney has come out to apologize to the star, Alexa would acknowledge how she was a crying mess and that the show's creator even had to give her a DVD player in order to get her to stop crying so she could finish filming. With Jamie's bullying only getting worse as the set carried on, no one really cared for Alexa since it was called Zoe 101 and not Nicole 101, but I think we can all agree Nicole 101 would have been a great show. Number 3. Leah Michelle. When Haley Steinfeld was 14 years old, she was auditioning for True Grit on the Paramount lot. And while she was getting ready to leave, she ran into Leah Michelle, who was filming Glee. When Haley walked up to the actress and asked her for an autograph, things quickly took a sharp turn after Leah ignored her and continued to walk by the young actress. A guy then came out of nowhere and told Haley it just wasn't a good time. So as Haley walked back to her car wearing an uncomfortable outfit from the 1800s, she would go on to cry the whole way home. Because she was really upset at the person who's been a main inspiration for her own acting work was so rude to her. At the end of the day, I think we can all agree Leah should have at least greeted Haley and told her it wasn't a good time herself instead of storming off. Number 2. Jennifer Lopez Back in 2014, Jennifer Lopez would be left cringing after one of her super fans dissolved into tears after being rejected on American Idol. With no content with attempting to win Idol, bubbly Ronald Reed was out on a mission to end poverty by trying to make the world a better place. However, when Ronald caught sight of Lopez, he then sat down to share a tuneless ballad, which sent the judges, including Jennifer, squirming in their seats. To the point Jennifer even told him that his voice wasn't strong enough. Keith Urban then had to take over and tell Ronald that he was really sweet as Reed searched desperately for his mojo after being belittled by Jennifer, as she made fun of his lack of melody. Reed would then be sent home, while 33 other hopefuls made it through to the next round. And coming in at number one on our list today, we have Demi Lovato. Back in 2016, Demi Lovato would come to learn about how she crushed one of her younger fans after she cancelled her concert. With Isabella Miklos being 10 at the time, she was looking forward to seeing Demi Lovato perform with Nick Jonas in Virginia Beach. After her family pulled their money together to buy her the tickets for Christmas as a reward for her excellent grades at school, when she found out the concert was cancelled due to a scheduling conflict,
conflict, Isabella would be left feeling utterly devastated. In frustration over her child's unhappiness, Isabella's mother then took to her Facebook to share the images of her daughter looking excited on Christmas Eve when she was given the tickets to crying in the car after learning it was cancelled. With Demi cancelling her concert just for the opportunity to be on TV, it upset a lot of fans which is strange since the pop star has always been the one of those few artists which uses her platform to preach about empowerment and she has so much pride in her work that she's always considered her fans to be her top priority. But then when she cancelled her concert to be on TV and said it was a scheduling conflict, it was really just a sad excuse.